Yeah, it's uh, basically straightforward, right? So basically the first thing is that uh, making all the entity, there are two entity into table. So user table, we can create here uh, with the user ID, name, email, phone number, right? And the user ID is primary key. So we specify that as primary key. Same thing for the hotel. So we can make a hotel here as a table uh, with the business ID and the location. And business ID is primary key. So we specify that here. And then rates, it's a many to many relationship. So we, whenever there is many to many relationship, we change that into a table. So we have a rate table here as an assignment table in the middle. And we uh, bring connected entities, primary key, and it's a primary key of this uh, assignment table. So it's connected with the user. So user uh, table's primary key is UID. And it's connected with the hotel. So hotel's primary key is a business ID. So we make both of them as a primary key here. And there's a rating attribute. So we add it here, rating, additional attribute. And for the relationship, primary key is connected with the primary key here. And the BID is also connected with the BID here. So from the user's perspective, hotel was connected by zero and many. So we put it here, zero and many. And from the hotel's perspective, user was connected by zero and many. So we simply put zero and many here. And for the rest of the cardinality, on the user side, we put one and one. And for, so for the hotel side, we put one and one like this. So this will be the uh, final solution, basically, for the exercise one. So the first step is the same. So every entity here, we have to make that into table. So currently, there is a professor entity, semester entity, and the course entity, right? So we make them into a table. So basically, uh, we create the professor table here. And we create the semester table here. And then we create the course as table here. And then uh, we have to put attributes as a column in the table, right? So all these attributes for the professor, there's a staff ID, name, office, email, phone. For a semester, we have a semester ID, year, and term number. And for course entity, we have a course ID, course name, time, and location. So we put all these attributes inside a table in the relational model. So for the professor, we have a staff ID, and the name, and the email, office, and something like that. So I skip it here. And for the course, we have the course ID, and the uh, name, time, location. And for the semester, we have a semester ID, year, and the term number. And then we have to identify what is the primary key. So I put the primary key in the first column. So primary key is here, here, and here. So that's it. So the next one is, uh, uh, relationship, right? So we have this tunnel relationship, which is a uh, maximum cardinality here is uh, one, maximum cardinality here is many, and maximum cardinality here is also many. So we have a one, many, many relationship. So last time, what I told you is this whenever you have a tunnel relationship, and whenever, uh, whenever there are at least two many cardinality, then whenever there are two maximum many cardinality, then you can treat this uh, just like many to many relationship. So in this case, teach tunnel relationship, if we treat it like many to many relationship, we have to make this as an assignment table. So same here. So we make a teach many to many relationship, tunnel many to many relationship into a table. Okay, so we have this relationship into a table 
and we have to think about what kind of attributes will be inside of this relationship. Basically, all connected um, entities primary key should go into this relationship uh, as an attribute. So let's put that first. Then staff ID, course ID, and CMS ID should be added here as attribute. CMS ID is here, course ID is here, and staff ID is here. So now we have to think about what will be primary key and what will be the foreign key. Then we have to look at the relationship again here in the ER diagram. So when you look at this, maximum many cardinality was here, right? On the semester side and here on the course side. And this was uh, maximum one cardinality. So for those entity which had maximum many cardinality, their primary key should be primary key in the assignment table, just like many to many relationship. So here semester ID should be primary key and course ID should be primary key. And the staff ID, so the professor entity was also connected with the uh, teach relationship. However, the maximum cardinality was one. So in this case, we use this as just the foreign key, not the primary key. So that's how we can uh, define attributes uh, inside of this teach uh, table, basically. And then we connect this, right? So CMS ID should be connected with the CMS ID here. And the course ID should be connected here. Step ID should be connected with uh, step ID like this. And the uh, uh, last step is basically, we have to define, we have to define the cardinality here. So whenever there is this kind of relationship, whenever tonally relationship is made into the table and connected with the other uh, entity like this, or simply whenever you connect it, it should become one to many. So between previous entity, like uh, which is uh, yeah, previously existing entity are semester, professor, and course, right? And they are connected with this new assignment relationship. When whenever they are connected, it should be one to many relationship. So basically, semester ID should be connected by many, course ID connected by many, and here is one and one, one and one, and the same for the staff ID, many and one and one. The reason is because this is assignment table. So when there is an assignment, how many times it can be here? So course can be assigned, uh, yeah, course can be assigned many times, semester can be assigned many times, professor can be assigned many times, right there. So that is uh, basically a rule of how to uh, translate tonal relationship in the diagram into relational model for implementation.